Hello everyone and welcome back to the Engine Hub. Ever wondered about the magic that makes your car move? Today we delve into the heart of your automobile, the engine. So stick around and like, comment and share our videos and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next upload. This isn't just for the car enthusiasts among us, but for anyone who's ever turned a key or pushed a button and marveled as their vehicle roared to life. Knowledge is power and understanding the basics of how an engine works can help you appreciate the complexity and ingenuity that goes into every journey you make. Over the next 10 minutes we'll be unmasking the mystery of your car's engine, journeying from the engine block to the pistons, the combustion chamber, valves, camshaft, crankshaft, and finally the cooling and lubrication systems. We'll explain how these parts work together to convert fuel into motion, transforming your car from a stationary object into a moving masterpiece of modern engineering. So buckle up and prepare for an exciting journey through the intricate world of automobile engines. Picture this, the engine block, the robust foundation holding all other engine parts. This solid piece is the heart of the engine, often referred to as the block. It's the sturdy structure that houses the cylinders along with other parts like the crankshaft and camshaft. The engine block is usually made of cast iron or aluminum. Cast iron blocks have been around for a long time, they're renowned for their durability and ability to withstand high temperatures. But they're also quite heavy. On the other hand, aluminum blocks are lighter and more efficient at dissipating heat, making them a popular choice for many modern cars. Some high-performance engines even use blocks made from exotic materials like magnesium and titanium. But let's not get lost in the forest of materials. The real magic lies in the function of the engine block. It's not just a shell to hold the other parts, it plays a crucial role in the engine's operation. The engine block houses the cylinders. These are the spaces where the fuel-air mix burns to generate power. In most car engines you'll find anywhere from 4 to 12 cylinders, arranged either in a line, an inline engine, a V-shape, a V-engine, or a flat arrangement, a flat or boxer engine. Inside these cylinders, you'll find the pistons. They move up and down, converting the energy from the burning fuel-air mix into mechanical energy that drives your car. The engine block also contains passages for oil and coolant to keep the engine lubricated and cool. But the engine block's role doesn't stop at housing parts and fluids. It also provides the structure for mounting other key engine components like the cylinder head and the oil pan. It's the backbone of the engine, the piece that holds everything together. Without it, the engine wouldn't be able to function. So, the engine block serves as the strong base supporting the engine's complex operations. This hunk of metal may not seem like much at a glance but without it, the symphony of power that is your car's engine, wouldn't be possible. It's a testament to the ingenuity of automotive design, a key player in the marvel of mechanical engineering that drives us forward, both literally and metaphorically. Imagine pistons, the mighty power generators moving rhythmically in their cylinders. Just as the heart pumps blood through our bodies, pistons pump power through the engine. Nestled within the engine block, these cylindrical powerhouses are in constant motion, sliding up and down in a well-choreographed dance. Now let's picture the pistons at work. As they move downwards, they create a vacuum, drawing in a mix of fuel and air into the cylinder. This is the first part of the four-stroke combustion cycle known as the intake stroke. When the pistons move upward they compress this mixture, squeezing it into a tight ball. This is the compression stroke. In this compressed state, the mixture has the potential to release a great deal of energy. This energy is unleashed in the third stroke, the power stroke. A spark from the spark plug ignites the compressed fuel-air mixture causing a mini-explosion. The force of this explosion drives the piston down, generating power that turns the crankshaft. Finally, the exhaust stroke happens. The pistons move upward again, pushing the burnt gases out of the cylinder and through the exhaust valve. This completes the cycle and it starts all over again intake, compression, power, exhaust. But where does this dance take place? In the combustion chamber, a small space at the top of the cylinder, it's here that the fuel and air mix, compress and ignite, creating the powerful force that propels the pistons. The precise shape and size of the combustion chamber can affect the engine's efficiency and power output. So, the pistons and the combustion chamber are the heart and lungs of the engine, pumping power through your car. They're the unsung heroes of your everyday commute, your weekend road trips, and every journey you take. It's the magic of motion, happening right under your hood. Now meet the valves, the camshaft, and the crankshaft, the hard workers ensuring everything runs smoothly. Let's start with the valves. There are two types, 
intake, and exhaust. The intake valves play a crucial role in welcoming a mix of air and fuel into the combustion chamber. Once the piston creates a vacuum, the intake valve opens and the air-fuel mix is sucked in. But their job doesn't end there. After the combustion process, it's time for the exhaust valves to take center stage. They open up to release the burnt gases, effectively cleaning the chamber for the next cycle. Next up we have the camshaft. Picture it as the conductor of this mechanical orchestra. Its job is to control the opening and closing of the valves. It's perfectly timed so that the intake valves open when the piston is on its way down, and the exhaust valves open when the piston is on its way up. Lastly, let's talk about the crankshaft. This component takes the up and down motion of the pistons and turns it into rotational motion. It's like a windmill that's powered by the pistons instead of the wind. The rotational energy it creates is what ultimately drives the wheels of your car. But how does it do this? Well, the pistons are connected to the crankshaft by rods. When the pistons move up and down, they turn the crankshaft. This rotational motion is then transferred through the transmission to the wheels, propelling your car forward. So, in a nutshell, the valves, camshaft, and crankshaft are all crucial players in the engine's operation. They work together to control the flow of air and fuel, convert the resulting force from combustion into rotational motion, and ultimately get you from point A to point B. Together these parts create a well-orchestrated symphony, allowing your car to move. Engines produce immense heat. But fear not, the cooling and lubrication systems are here to save the day. The cooling system of an engine is like its personal thermostat, keeping things from getting too hot under the hood. It uses a substance called coolant, a liquid that absorbs heat from the engine and then dissipates it through the radiator. The coolant's journey begins in the engine block where it absorbs the heat generated by the fuel combustion process. From there, it travels to the radiator, where it releases this heat into the surrounding air. This cycle repeats continuously as long as the engine is running, keeping temperatures in check and preventing damage from overheating. Now, let's shine the spotlight on the lubrication system, the engine's slick and smooth operator. While the cooling system deals with heat, the lubrication system tackles friction. Friction, the resistance encountered when one surface moves over another, is an engine's nemesis. It causes wear and tear, reduces efficiency, and generates additional heat. The lubrication system combats friction by ensuring all moving parts of the engine are well-oiled, quite literally. It distributes oil throughout the engine, creating a thin, slippery film between moving parts. This reduces friction, minimizes wear and tear, and helps to dissipate heat. The oil also cleans the engine by picking up dirt and combustion residues which are then trapped by the oil filter. So next time you're cruising down the highway, spare a thought for these unsung heroes of the engine world. The cooling and lubrication systems work tirelessly behind the scenes, maintaining optimal operating conditions. They ensure your engine doesn't overheat or wear down, extending its life and efficiency. Their roles might not be glamorous but without them, our engines wouldn't last for more than a few minutes. These unsung heroes ensure your engine doesn't overheat or wear down, extending its life and efficiency. So, we've taken a journey through your car's engine, exploring its many parts and their functions. We've delved into the heart of the engine, the engine block, and learned how it's built to withstand immense pressures and temperatures. We've seen how the pistons and combustion chamber work in tandem, converting fuel into the power that propels your car forward. We've also discovered the intricate dance of the valves, camshaft, and crankshaft, coordinating with precision to control the flow of air and fuel into the engine. And let's not forget the unsung heroes of the engine, the cooling and lubrication systems, tirelessly working to keep the engine cool and well-oiled, preventing overheating and reducing wear and tear. In essence, all these parts come together to form a complex, well-oiled machine that makes our everyday commuting possible. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. Next time you turn your car key, remember the marvelous machinery working harmoniously under the hood. Drive safe.